Hello, my beautiful friend. Welcome back to another video. So I want to start out by showing you the colors I'm going to be using today. As you can see, they're very beautiful. So the first four colors you are going to see are made by Color Art. They are called Primary Elements and they are a dry paint system, which I will explain as the video goes on. Their first color would be called Ocean Wave. A gorgeous. Then over here we have African Jade. One of my favorite colors of all time, Jasmine. And then this color right here is a special blend that I made. I wanted a bright orangey gold. So what I used was some normal uh, Grumbacher acrylic paint in the cadmium orange hue. And to that, I added Interference Gold, Bling It Gold by same company, and a little bit of the Interference Red just to give it a little reddish hue in the painting that I'm hoping will show up. So I got that bright, beautiful, orangey gold by just adding those two interference powders to this one tube paint. So I have a coupon for these products. It's Tammy Anderson Art, 120, 20% off, no minimum purchase. And it's colorart.com. Everything's in the description. For the rest of the colors, now these are just regular tube paints. This here is Bright Aqua Green from Liquitex. So you can see the difference here. These are a matte color, okay? And then these are like a metallic. So those are the difference. Um, this one here is... Cobalt Turquoise by Golden. And then this is Anthroquinone Blue by Vallejo. I have an octagon shaped canvas. I'm going to be, nope, hexagon. <laughs> Got my guns wrong. So we have that canvas we're going to be working on. And I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour and blow it out with the blow dryer again and see if we can get one of those beautiful flowers that I got last time. So my paints, the directions on how to mix them will be in the description, but I will tell you very quickly that they are mixed with Vivid Enamel, which is also sold by Color Art. A viewer question, what happens when I buy these primary elements and some of this product and I run out. Is there anything else I can use? Yes, you can use anything that is has a um, high polymer dispersion. So one thing, this is just one thing that Golden makes, regular gel. It's a thick substance. You would have to thin it out with water, but that would work as a binder for these pigments because they are a dry paint system they have their mica but they're colorized mica okay and they need something to make them cling to the canvas and Floetrol unfortunately is not a binder so I did come up with a recipe I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description it's where you use Floetrol a little bit of the Vivid Enamel. And if you don't have that, you can substitute with something like this. And then a little bit of glue and a little bit of water and you're good to go. It works perfect. So when you buy products, sometimes they're, they, you, it's a two part thing. Like you want the primary elements, you have to buy the polypore or the, the, well, you don't have to, but you should buy the polypore or the Vivid Enamel to go with it. The polypore, I will get to, into more in the next video when I actually use it. I'm not using it this video, but 
when you run out of things like that. And a lot of things in life are like that. You know, you buy something and you have so much fun using it and then one part of it is gone and you're like, well, what do I do with all this other stuff that I have left still? <laughs> Perfect example, latch hook kits, right? Who remembers those? You do your latch hook and you end up with you know, 30 million of those little fibers left. What do you do with them? Well, you have to go out and buy another piece of the fabric that you do it on. Or you throw them away. But it's kind of the same thing with the primary elements. You got to find something that it will work with. And that video that I came up with, it does work with that recipe. You just have to be careful. You need to remember you have to have a binder to make them stick or else when you go to varnish, they're just going to off the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to tilt this all around. I notice I have something in my paint. I'm going to pause you really quick to dig that out. Okay, I'm going to continue to spread it around the entire canvas until it's coated. When you can't see the canvas anymore. It is coated. And I'm going to add just a little more over here in the corner. Instead of trying to stretch it too thin. Okay. Now we're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is torch. Now this is just wall paint from Walmart. Again, all the, the description will have the info on how I mix the paints. And I will also link that other video as I mentioned. And the bottom bottle, I'm going to put Bottle bottom. I have said that every time wrong. Okay, bottle bottom. I'm going to stick it right in the center and I'm going to pay attention to where the grooves are because where the grooves are is where the pedal's going to be and I want the pedals to go a certain way. Okay, so the first color I'm going to put down is the anthroquinone blue. Now, none of these colors have Floetrol in them. They are mixed with Vivid Enamel, but you can also use um, your house paints, whatever it is that you're using, to do a bloom type of a recipe. I just saw something very big in here. There we go. Um, so that's the Anthroquinone Blue. So Vivid Enamel and some Polycrylic. That's it. Those two things. Uh, the next color I'm going to put down is going to be this beautiful ocean wave. Absolutely love, love, love my blues. Now you have to be mindful of the size of the petals too. You don't want them to get this big because then when you blow them out, you're just gonna blow all the paint off the canvas. So they gotta be a little bit smaller. So I myself have to slow down a bit here. All right, next I'm going to do some of this bright aqua green. Also, if you're looking for videos that don't involve this recipe, that you just want like flow trawl, um, or even ones that were made with pouring medium. I have a ton of older videos, as long as, as all, well as a ton of um, resin videos. So now I'm going to put down that cobalt turquoise. This is going to be the African Jade
the jasmine for the contrast because come on now look at that a lot of people own these products and can attest to the beauty of them all right next i'm going to put in a little more Nope, I'm going to put in a little more, yep, yeah, <laughs> a little more of this anthraquinone blue. Then the custom yellow I made, which by the way, you can also create these powders to make your own custom create, combine these colors to make your own custom colors. My flower is going off a little bit here. I must be not level. And then I'm going to put down a little more of that dark blue again. I want it right on top of that orange and right underneath it. Or golden yellow. Okay. And then last but not least, our white that's mixed with Floetrol. Amsterdam white acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol. Before I blow these petals out, I'm going to have to tilt, not tilt, turn my canvas around because they are going a little wonky. I noticed on these uh, no, hexagon canvases that they are very hard to get level for some reason. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, and before I go any further, I need to bring attention to a couple of new channels out there. Um, they're actually viewers of mine that had the, the courage to start their own channel, and they are doing wonderful. We have a Tammy Owen and Giovanna, and I'm going to list their channels in the description. Make sure you check them out because they're doing really, really awesome. So please check them out. I just absolutely love it when people start their channels and give it a try. And they are doing really well, these two ladies. Very impressed. So now I'm going to try to fix my little flower here by slowly tilting back. That was really, really off. Just like that, nice and slow. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blow it up this way. All right, so I'm going to put the torch on it first to pop the bubbles. All these supplies I use are in my Amazon shop. Torches, blow dryers, resin, everything. Here we go, guys. I'm going to go on low. You can see this canvas is really, really off. See that? All right, let's continue here. It's bouncing up and down. <laughs> Go figure. Sorry, we'll get there. We'll get there. You can't get discouraged. You just can't get discouraged with these things or else 
it goes really, really bad, okay? So although our flower is not looking like a flower yet, we will get there. It's just really odd. It's, it's almost like it's warped the canvas itself. Yeah, it's definitely something's going on. Anyway, let me pause you guys. I'm going to get it fixed. Okay, I got it fixed here. Just so you know, if you ever have a canvas that's warped after you paint on it and it dries for at least a week or two, take it, flip it over, spray the entire back with water really, really good. Put some weights on it and it will straighten it right out. I'm going to take my airbrush now and I'm going to try to define this a little bit since it looks nothing like a flower. Uh, let's see. What we're going to do first is I'm going to put some of my white with the flow trial in it right here before I start blowing it around to help promote some cells. Okay. This is more of like a burst of color versus a flower. <laughs> it's like a flower has been run over by a semi. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you can't win them all. <laughs> Stupid canvas. This airbrush I absolutely love. It's my favorite thing to use in the art field. <laughs> I absolutely love it, but it's very easy to get out of control with it and use it too much. So, all right, so now I'm going to put some over here because why not? <laughs> some of those pretty colors to come out. All right. Hey, it's something to look at. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do Hmm. Maybe just a little tiny bit more over here. And then we'll call it a day. Yeah, why not? Hey, it's different. Let me give you a close up. The the shape is very hot though. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do?
maybe if we just tilt you know what it is this corner right here is getting to me I mean the whole thing is getting to me to be honest with you Oh, that makes me so mad that that canvas is warped. I don't know how I didn't recognize that before I even start started the video, but it is, you can see, just off. But anyway, I showed you some pretty colors. We did some art. It is what it is. I mean, it's not that bad. I think it's pretty. Let me give you a close-up. Show it to you this way, and then I'll show it to you with the lights off so that you can see all the special effects going on in there. So if you enjoyed the video, I promise if you subscribe, not all of my canvases are warped. <laughs> Click that bell. Make sure it's set to all. If you are already a subscriber please take my thanks because i appreciate all of you i appreciate you using my amazon links and the beautiful messages i get that guy has an eye looks like a walrus almost wow sorry <laughs> uh yeah so all the the information is in the description don't forget about the code for the color art products. I will show you some resin art products by them this week. If you didn't see my last video, I explained in detail uses for both primary elements and resin art products. There are multiple uses for these, so please check my last video out. I will link it at the end of the video. And here we go. Let me show you some pretty colors now. I just love the way they sparkle. And once you put resin on them, forget about it. So anyway, my friends, I truly, truly appreciate you. And I thank you for watching. And until next time. Happy pouring.